Hey everybody, welcome to the weekly celebrity tarot reading. I've had an overwhelming response for readings for Amber Heard, so I am doing a reading on Amber Heard. Now, if you saw the tarot reading I did for Johnny Depp uh, last week, and I'll leave it in the link here, uh, it looked like everything was in his favor, okay? But listen, here's the thing. I'm going to do a reading for Amber Heard. Uh, I don't know her, and just like Johnny, I don't know any of them personally. This is a reading on what's going on with Amber right now. Obviously, her and Johnny Depp are in this big trial. I'm not following the trial, and to be honest, and no offense to Amber Heard, I didn't even know who she was until the trial, okay? And then I Googled it, and I saw that she was in Aquaman. So she is an actress who is dating Johnny Depp. Now, uh, I also did look into her birth chart. There wasn't anything like really crazy compared to Johnny's. Like he had a stronger uh, chart, but she is a Taurus. And listen, like coming up, like we have a major uh, new moon in Gemini that's affecting her second house. That's earned income, okay? She's gonna see changes. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because we also have a full moon in Sagittarius, middle of June, that affects a her eighth house, money again, okay? So something about money to expect with Amber astrologically. Uh, again, uh, one thing that I, I'm gonna mention that I mentioned in my last reading, she was born very close to a full moon, uh, lunar eclipse in Scorpio, which just happened, okay? Last week, that's pretty crazy. So she's, that's very powerful for her. She's really feeling that. She's going through a very emotional time, okay? Another thing that I'm gonna mention is uh, I noticed that her Mercury is in Aries, which is crazy. Mercury is currently retrograde, but Mercury in Aries for her, it just means that she doesn't like the, she's, she's very quick and direct, and um, I think she just feels very uncomfortable on the stand because that's just, that's not a good place for someone who has Mercury in Aries, okay? So, without further ado, let's go ahead and do the reading for Amber Heard. Uh, again, I do not know her personally. I do not know any of her backstory. I, I'm not following the trial, but uh, this is even almost works to the advantage because uh, it leaves me unbiased toward her or Johnny or whatever uh, in this situation. Okay, so uh, here we go. This is the reading for Amber Heard. All right. Now, I do a traditional cultic cross spread. Uh, if you want to book a private reading, you know where to find me. Secondly, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I do daily shorts and weekly and monthly uh, tarot readings for every sign. So it would be great if you like and subscribe. Now, this is interesting. <laughs> I think, and it, you know, first of all, I want to thank the people leaving all the comments about what's been going on in the trial uh, because it gives me a little bit more clarity on what, you know, things that are happening during the trial. And I'm not gonna lie, she, someone mentioned that there's, like both of them could get money. I think she's getting money and I think she's gonna be happy with what happens. She's gonna be very happy with what happens. Now, she is coming, She like I said earlier, she's very uncomfortable in court, okay? Uh, she did get the Ace of Eight of Swords, and this is just being bound, this is feeling, this is more mental than anything else. Uh, feeling that you can't move forward, feeling that you, uh, something's like holding you back, and it's uh, also like not wanting to face uh, the truth, not wanting to look at things uh, but basically creating blockages for yourself. All she has to do is remove that blindfold, okay? Uh, and things will get better for her. And it looks like she is going to be in a position where she is going to do that because she did get the Nine of Cups, which is all about a wish coming true, all right? This is the wish card. Now listen, this is temporary, all right? This isn't like some of the stronger cards because you can see the, the young man here is sitting on a wooden bench. Okay, and so it just means that the wish, it's its a wish that will come true. This is what's coming, what's happening for her right now, uh, but it is going to be temp temporary. And speaking of temporary, she did get temperance as well. This is crossing her. This is challenging her. She's not feeling balanced. She's not feeling... Uh, uh, there is a way that she's approaching the situation that is not, I would say, uh, not healthy for her, but it's not... She's not doing it to her advantage. She's probably not doing great 
at what's happening here because she doesn't, she's not balanced enough, okay? And in order for her to, uh, I guess, succeed is to feel a little bit more balanced, uh, sp speak a little bit more in uh, moderation, okay? This is a card of moderation and balance, but it's also like, <sighs> I feel like, I'm, again, I'm not watching the trial, but uh, she could have a tendency to just jump into things and say things that she didn't mean to or just overreact. I'm not even uh, sure, but because this came up in her challenge area, temperance, like I said, it's all about balance. It's all about taking things slow and steady. It's testing the waters. You can see that the angel here has her foot in the collective consciousness, okay? She's testing the water. She's not jumping in. She's not like uh, going in a fast motion. And so that is something that's happening with Amber, even though, uh, I don't know, again, I'm not watching the trial, but she could be saying things that she may eventually regret. She could be... Uh, there's a lot of things that are happening where uh, she needs all her chakras aligned, all right, to have this wish come true, okay? Now, again, I think that she is going to get something, but let's get that to that later, because she did pull the Nine of Pentacles, so in her head, it's feeling, it's really interesting that she did pull this, okay? One thing that I pointed out in my reading with Johnny Depp is that they both have their Venus and Taurus, okay? And that's a pretty big that's pretty big, especially because their Venus and Taurus were almost to the same degree, okay? And so Venus, listen, Venus right now is, uh, well, it is going into uh, Taurus, right? And so uh, that'll happen, what day is today? Anyway, that's going to be until like about June 23rd. So interesting. interestingly enough, because she is a Taurus, uh, she is, in her head, she wants to come out of this fully, with full abundance, okay? And she may have some help because of the astrological placements, but listen, this is all about the finer things in life. This is all about, like, you know, succeeding. This is all about enjoying everything that you're going to uh, get, you know, uh, in terms of whatever, you know, what Venus represents, which is love, attraction, beauty, uh, finer things in life. I mean, there's so much there, money, but that is going through her head. That is what she wants. Her eyes are on the prize, okay? She wants that abundance in a big, big way. This is in her crown, no doubt about it. Uh, she wants, she wants to win bad. She wants to, she wants to, she wants it all, okay? Um, deep down inside, she feels, it's interesting because she got the, the, the Three of Pentacles. This is all about collaboration. This is all about teamwork. She's looking for that now. She, I think that maybe if she's not doing well in the trial, she needs people to come support her, okay? She's looking for that. She needs people to collaborate with her, right? For this big win, okay? And this is something that is kind of like deep down in her gut. I think she's coming to that moment of clarity where like, I cannot do this alone. I need support on my side, okay? Now, the reason why I said that I think she might get some things out of this, uh, she did get the four of wands, all right? Uh, I think that, I think Johnny also pulled this in his reading. I can't remember, but listen, four of wands, this is all about celebration, okay? This is all about milestones. So it ended up in her future area, and it looks like she is going to celebrate something, all right? So... Uh, someone pointed out in one of the uh, comments that uh, there are so many different outcomes to this trial where they both could uh, walk away with money. Uh, so it's not like she's not going to get anything. She's definitely going to get stuff that she's happy about. All right. Uh, this is also really interesting. It is. Yeah. Johnny did get this in the last, uh, in the last reading as well, but this is really interesting because it's also like a sign of marriage. Um, there could be something, she could be getting married in the future. She could be getting engaged in the future. There could be something happening there in the future for her. Wow. And it's something that she, uh, really wants to move forward with. I feel like this whole court thing is something that that she feels like there's almost a little regret from her going into this because this is what she really wants. She wants to move forward. She wants to celebrate and she wants to have this abundance moving forward, celebrating uh, 
and then just going past this again like her remember i said mercury and aries right this is knight of swords and this is really fiery energy but also in terms of the mind okay this is her mind moving a million miles a minute but going toward that the dreams of this milestone she's reaching and again could be a wedding or or, or some engagement or or something either way it is going to be some sort of celebration all right now let's go to her staff wow okay 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 do you see okay let me put that over here uh amber is getting uh she's going to be happy she's going to be very happy with the results even if she doesn't uh even if she doesn't seem like it she's going to be happy this is okay so first of all i i did mention money okay she did pull the Page of Pentacles page in the Minor Arcana after the Ace. Usher's in the most new change. This is all about money, okay? She's getting money. She's getting money. She's going to watch it grow. She's going to do some sort of investment in it. put it towards something. Uh, she is definitely going to watch that grow. Now, uh, interestingly enough, um, is this the only... Okay, so she did pull the Seven of Wands, all right? She is going to defend herself. Huge, 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 huge 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 okay this is all about defending yourself this is all about like claiming your territory this is all about listen this card comes up when someone has to actually and it comes up unexpectedly okay this defense all right so something could happen uh where she might have to defend herself in a way that she didn't think that she had to because you can see here in the card he's wearing two different shoes he's the only person in the tarot deck that's doing that and all it does is represents that he never saw this coming he jumped out of bed because all these people are coming after him and this can be as little as you know twitter trolls coming after her, but it could be something big like a prosecutor or something coming after her. she is going to defend herself uh that's coming up now listen after this whole situation she's having an awakening okay this moment of defending herself there's going to be some moment where she's going to have this aha moment and it's going to be something that is going to lead her into a new direction okay even spiritually because you can see here archangel gabriel blowing the trumpet right this is a very spiritual card all right you see the dead arising and the dead people here represent wisdom but this really is all about an awakening okay and so that comes with her after defending herself and even with uh the situation with the trial i feel like uh both of them have to defend themselves in a way but this is like almost to a degree where there was a little there was exhaustion involved with it but in the end it looks like She's moving into a place that she's going to be happy with, okay? She's looking for strength right now. She did pull this strength card, okay? She is asking the universe for all that courage. Now, you can see in this card, it's Major Arcana here, okay? Secondly, she's taming a, t a lion, obviously, as you can see in this card. But that strength, that courage comes from that interaction, okay? It comes from the synergy with between the woman and the lion here, okay? So this strength that she's looking for, she's looking at for it from people, okay? She's looking at for from people that uh, her support system, okay? Whether it's fans, whether it's people in her life, uh, that's where she is hoping to get all that courage inside her, okay? She, you know, with Mercury retrograde right now, uh, and it's only a few more days actually, but that's an Aries, and this is really crazy, like, um, or her, I'm sorry, her Mercury's in Aries and the way she communicates and thinks, but that is really just, She's going to have to, she's, she's spending time going through the Rolodex in her head of like, who, who do I need to support me to get my strength from? Who do I need to <laughs> support me to get my strength from? Okay. She got the sun. Okay. This is really interesting because the sun at the end of the day means abundance. Okay. She's getting a lot of abundance here. A lot of tarot readers say this is the best card in the deck. Listen, I agree that it is one of the top three cards. I have my favorites, but there is no symbol stronger than the sun. Okay. What does the sun do? It gives birth. It gives life. It shines upon you. It brings abundance. The sun has been worshiped by ancient civilizations for thousands of years this is how significant the sun is and this is full abundance this is full protection you can see that she is carefree on a white horse representing purity nothing to worry about no care in the world this is the final outcome she pulled the sun okay so listen 
based on this reading, it seems that she may get some things as well, okay? It looks like she will be happy in the end with whatever the verdict is. She will be happy with what happens here. Um, so I said in the reading with Johnny, he's going to get what he wants. It looks like she's going to get what he wants. Whatever it is, they're both going to come. They're both going to be happy with the situation. Um, there may be some, uh, uh, you know what? Let me just see something real quick. Yeah. Okay. They're going to be happy with the situation. Um, it is for Amber going to be, uh, she has a big decision to make afterward, okay? And it's, I don't know if it's uh, something to do with the public, the way that she presents herself in the public. Remember, she's having this awakening and this like rising moment after she pulled the Seven of Wands. But she is going to she's you're going to see a different Amber, basically, is what I'm saying, okay? You're going to see a different Amber Heard, but she is going to be very happy with the outcome. That is the reading for the week. Uh, again, if you like this reading, please like and subscribe. I do, uh, you know what I do. Anyway, great reading for you, uh, and I will see you at the next reading.